Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter for basic Sorgonomics at Sorgatron.com. Please check out everything going on at SorgatronMedia.com. It is po- post-podcast day, the podcast hangover as I like to see it, say it, as I try to post everything on about three hours of sleep and also be intelligible on a morning podcast. And uh, we'll see how this goes for the next 10-ish minutes. But anyways, uh, today I wanted to talk about, in general, uh, live I'm live right now. Uh, I'm recording this. I don't edit too much. It's it's very much a live to tape situation. Whenever I do a show, it's kind of how I do things. And I've been talking a lot about podcasting with people. Uh, I had a great uh, phone conversation with Robert from over there at Nebulous. Uh, you should check them out. A great online audio editor for collaborating. And uh, I, I think uh, podcasters, video or audio editors uh, would be really interested in. And we're actually having a discussion about you know what they could do to kind of uh, attract more podcasters to their platform. And uh, and I think it is a really good a good idea. It, but, but talking in general about uh, some of the concepts around podcasting, some of my philosophies on podcasting. I've been doing it for ten years, uh, fairly successful. As, you know, we have a nice niche audience, very passionate, very engaged. And I think a part of that is what we do with live. You know, I've added a live element here. I have four people, maybe probably more with the web and the not signed in stats that pop in on, on Periscope here. I can check in that and see what's going on. And uh, hi, Nero, you know, who joins me every morning. And I get these regulars like like Nero does every morning. And, uh, you know, the regulars that pop into us in with us uh, live Tuesday nights over at live.circuitronmedia.com. We have a live chat room. I want to get a better chat room. If anybody knows a good chat room plugin that doesn't cost an arm and a leg, okay, even like a toe, really at this point, because it is podcasting and and they're not really revenue generators for me at the moment. But uh, anything anything like that 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 uh, you know will bring that live element. You know, and remember, you know, I may have discussed this on the show before. But I moved over to podcasting from doing internet radio. Uh, you know, again, something where, you know, I was happy. I was like, five people are listening to me right now and the music that I'm completely pirating over the internet streams over a shoutcast server. And, and, and I've been thinking more and more about that as, uh, you know, I'm, I've caught a couple interviews with Leo Laporte with his t- This Week in Tech Network. I've caught a couple, uh, you know, kind of really thinking back in my conversations with people, you know, a, a couple of times over the last couple of weeks, I was like, well, how did you start? And I'm like... Well, actually, I did have a shoutcast server, and and we rolled from that. And podcasting was a thing that I discovered via following everybody from Tech TV and seeing what they were doing. And Leo started Leo Laporte started this thing called uh, Revenge, Revenge of the Screensavers that lasted five minutes. It turned into This Week in Tech, and and. And I, but I still wanted to keep that live element. Having the chat room, you know, we moved from from the AOL chat rooms to, you know, whatever else is going on. You know, I'd love to move more towards Twitter, but I like the chat where everybody's just in one place uh, conversing over what we're, what we're talking about, you know, and, and, and even this movement towards Periscope, I really kind of mimic that with pulling up both Meerkat and Periscope, because I'm still trying to figure out what's the better platform for me. And both are advancing at a heavy pace. Uh, I love Periscope's interface and I seem to get more people on it, but I have people popping in from Android now, thanks to the new beta on meerkat you know i I don't want to shut anybody out at this point and uh and and we talked about you know several times on this show just do a a search for periscope and meerkat on sorgatron.com you'll catch all my conversations so far and they're still relevant even after all these weeks and all these updates uh, we're talking about a lot of the live concepts so um again why live i i uh you know, we've talked about before performance and everything and how, you know, I like being on stage. I like that visceral kind of reaction, right? How many times has a show, we just did our 469th edition of the Wrestling Mayhem show. And how many times are we reacting to something in the, in the, in the chat room? Right? How many how many times has that kind of shaped the show? Brought in new ideas more than just the you know sometimes of the five people that I bring in. I know I should not bring in that many people to a single show. That's when we start losing control, uh, more or less. And, and but it is the mayhem, and I do bury it in the second half of the show at least as much as I can. And but uh, you know it, it adds that element. I you know we 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 discuss you know the kind of live to tape that I do a little bit of editing you know versus some people do double enders where they're recording on this side and the other side of the Google Hangout or Skype call if they're doing a remote. Um, they do, you know, 
super clean additions. We're taking every cough and overtalk and everything that you can out of the show. And I think that's fine. I think that's great. But I think you also lose something. And I think the nice thing and, and why podcasting takes off and why these little podcasters take off a little bit more is there's a little bit of a, a, a dirtiness to it. You know, it's not clean and refined and, and, and vacuum sealed for your protection like what you usually hear on the radio, on TV, you know, in that atmosphere, you know, you know, you know that people are real, you know, I, I hope that's why some people are coming in to listen to this show, because this is me. I don't have a plan going into this. I, I'm pretty sure it's obvious. I do not have a plan, really, when I come down here, <laughs> other than a few talking points. And in this case, I was like, let's talk about live, you know, and I come down here and here we are. Um, and not just that. Uh, last night, we also had a <laughs> rare phenomenon where I had somebody live in the studio with me at some point for every one of the five shows. And we, you know, we, you know, Skype Hangout is super awesome that we are able to have this flexibility, right? We're able to have this flexibility to bring in Mike and Poughkeepsie, who used to be in the Bronx, uh, uh, Eamon from Texas, uh, you know, maybe we can bring in Alex from Long Beach, you know, we can bring in Antonio Garza from, from El Paso, you know, everybody else from just around town that just don't want to drive here, you know, Bobby and Johnstown, you know, but having that person in the studio, on the couch, looking at me, don't have to worry about a slight Skype or Google Hangout delay over the internet. It's just there. And I think I think you will, in general, have a better vibe when that happens. I think, in general, you'll have a, a more of a connection when that happens. You'll have a better conversation when that happens. Yes, the remote thing really kind of enables you. I mean, we would not... Saturday morning, uh, we roll out of bed and 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 have a podcast. Uh, Will and I starting this new project just for fun, just completely for fun. But and that's what makes it more for fun is I can go go down there, come out, come down here, flip a few switches, and we're recording and we're live and 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 we're we make a podcast. You know, something fresh. You know, uh, how many how many audio shows that I listen to are are done this way, right? And you know, again, having that element. Having that ability and having that interaction, you know, we've, you know, there was, there was a, I was interviewed several, several years ago for a book and I don't even know if the book came out. I don't know who did it, whatever it was. I remember just meeting somewhere in the Squirrel Hill or something like that uh, to discuss this thing. And uh, I described how we do our chat rooms and we do the live element and everything and they interviewed a few other podcasters and this the statement kind of struck me uh that the the author uh, said to me at the time and says you know you know this is supposed to be social media and podcasting is supposed to be a social media and this is very early in the in those terms in those those days twitter i feel like twitter was just the babe at the time we we're still talking about the sandwiches we we're eating uh, and, uh, and he says, what, you, what we're doing here with the live, with everything, with the chat rooms is, seems to be the most social and interactive of, uh, of anybody who's podcasting. And I think that's very important. Now it's still social. I, I'm not going to discount people that pre-record and edit and all that thing. You know, I mean, it, it's still, you still have a kind of a feedback loop of, you know, you make your show, you put it out and people can respond to it. You know, it's just a longer loop. It's not as reactive. I'm the MTV generation. I want it now. I want people to respond now. I want the tweets to come back now. It, it's kind of a, a broad way to say it. But but really, that is kind of how I look at it. And, and I think it really helps the show, you know. Except for like when I have periscopes and I'm trying to catch them before they fade away, and and it, and it goofs me on 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 this show because it's too early for me to process a second thing. That's why this show is mostly just me talking to you and not much for video switching, not 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 all the bells and whistles because I'm doing a lot there on Tuesday night when I have the guests lined up and I have them all lined up in my wirecast and I have a I have a couple things for uh, we can show the person and then they can show the website we do this and this I, I you know and that, that's a whole other kind of split attention thing that we can maybe get to on our show but let me know what you think what do you think about the live element of podcasting do you prefer even if you're listening in post do you prefer that the show has that live element did you hear that they're 
they're they're responding to the chat room does that make you want to go check it out obviously not everybody can a lot of these record you know during your day job or don't fit your schedule or something like that let me know at sorgatron on the twitter sorgatron.com wherever you find this in video form and uh, audio also on itunes stitcher spreaker all kinds of things like that so until next time hey keep going on that uh, daily challenge i i took a shot i did more snapchats yesterday but uh, yeah they, they were what they were I, I don't know if i'm really too happy with them but uh so today i think i want to get into vine today i don't know how exciting i'll be but uh, I'll try to be a little bit creative with it. It'll be probably be really goofy since I have like you know again like three hours sleep. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we're doing with that. Uh, it sounds like I, I saw somebody post. It was probably Gabriel said, and he listed off some of the uh, social networks he's going to be trying out over the week. So uh, please keep it up. Let me know your findings, especially if you find one that really surprises you. And listen to Tuesday's show about the weekly challenge and why I think it's it's important for you to check it out. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.